lens, Austin? Too long. We're the only ones here. What's the plan, Stan? We're gonna go get pedicures? <laughs> Don't watch that. <laughs> Why not? Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> So today I'm on my way to um, help my sister clean my mom's apartment. She has been in Austin, Texas pretty much all year um, with one of my little sisters. Uh, her husband has been deployed uh, in the Middle East and um, it was a nine month deployment and he is slated to come home next month. So uh, my mom is coming back next week and her apartment has just been sitting um, pretty much all year. So Christy and I are gonna go, well, we went a couple days ago and did a lot, but we have to finish it up today. And it's, I'm really kind of stressed because I have this eBay business now, so I had to get all my stuff packaged and shipped before I left this morning. I just dropped them off at the post office. Um, my kids' room is a disaster because we sold their bunk beds. Um, my oldest son has pretty much grown out of the twin, twin bed. He's 17, and so we're going to buy a... Well, I went yesterday and... Look at her table. Look at this. Doesn't that look nice? Clean sheets on. All right. She had DVDs all over this table. Don't take my advice. <laughs> Good advice. You, you can do it from your phone, but it'll use your data. <laughs> yeah. So make sure you got the unlimited data. <laughs> did that because I have a young daughter right out of school that, you know, I'm still supporting the phone thing. Um, oh, yeah. This is huge. I don't know what to do with this thing. I'm going to open it and see what we have inside here. Cheaper than liposuction, which I have looked into, but... Oh, goodness. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. What's the rest He's of the musician. poem? <clears throat> Can't uh, read it? I, no. I might have been looking for Jesus in there or something. It's no, jeez. Crazy. He writes crazy stuff, just whatever comes to the top of his head. She's crying. 
No. Oh. Uh, is she or is she growling? Oh. Oh. Okay, she's, I think she's, she's growling. Well, if she's, she's growling, it sounds like. But if she's purring, it sounds like. Your friend, boo. No, no. Don't get scared. She's trying to play with you. She wants to play with you. Come on. I'm really scared.
I'm headed to Bible study. Um, it is our Wednesday Bible study that used to meet at the church, but now because of COVID, um, they're not meeting there now and we are doing it by Zoom. But today we have decided to meet at someone's home. So all of us that are comfortable meeting can meet today. We are doing a study of Hebrews. I know, me too. I didn't know. So we're doing Zoom too. Well, Good. yes, because there's several that can't make it. So. <laughs> gosh, this is so peaceful out here. Oh my gosh. Perfection, but direction. And you know, it's those little, little Stan Andy Stanley phrases I love. Um, that sounds like one from him. And she told me, I texted her and said, per, you know, perfect. She kind of likes to hear from us sometimes. And she said she could remember where she heard it, but it stuck with her also. And so that could be something we kind of carry on. Um, that applies to a lot of things in our life. But really, when we get ourselves down about if we're doing the things that we think we want to do or should do, that shoulds need to be kind of lowered and it more about your relationship. going to check on my mom because uh, she lives in an apartment kind of sort of downtown ish and she texted me and said um, I said mom are you I gotta pick you up tomorrow at a certain time for your doctor's appointment and she said okay but I have to preserve uh, preserve my power on my phone right now so I'm turning it off and I'm like okay so um, I texted I said are you is your power out and there's no response of course so and then I called the apartments and no one answers because everything is pretty much closed right now with this ice storm so I'm going to check on her and possibly bring her to my house we'll see what happens what? what'd you say I said, God told me to pack my bag because we have no power here. Yeah. And April showed up at the door right after I did. <laughs> right after you packed it. <laughs> yes, and I have candles on and absolutely no heat in here except candlelight. I see your candles. No heat. When did your power go out? 9.30 a.m. Oh, and it's now like 4, 4.30. Oh, my God. Oh God. Well, I have to put... Okay. I, I need like five minutes. You can sit right there. Okay. okay. What did you say? You had enough... You had enough light to read your Bible and pray? Yes, ma'am. I read my Bible and prayed for the whole city. The whole city? Oh, my gosh. There's 200,000 homes without power. Yeah, yeah. You prayed for everybody, huh? So when I found that out, I just said a general prayer, you know. Right, right. And I saw a couple of my neighbors, mm -hmm. and they asked me if I was staying warm, and I said, I'm trying. And yeah. they are, too. Um... Nobody has a generator, I guess, here at the apartment. I know. Shouldn't the apartments have a generator? That doesn't make sense. We used to have one. I don't have to. Who knows? We need to get one too. But thankfully, we are still. We still have power. Yeah, up in our area, but everywhere down here, even the stoplights are out. Stoplight yeah, the stoplight. So everybody's like, is it my turn to go? It's I mean, it's, it is. It's dangerous. On my way to vote. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> 